You may have heard about this whole, I don't know, AI thing. It's been sort of a hot topic online and in modern culture recently. You can throw just about anything into an AI script completely free of charge and meld your greatest desires into reality. There are many ethical issues people pose, like stealing actual hardworking artists' art, but sometimes it's fun to be a little silly with it as well. One of these silly ventures is this AI-generated 80s dark fantasy trend. This started earlier this year in 2023. The idea is that you give Midjourney V4 or whoever a TV show or movie or any media property, really, and have it create characters for that property in an 80s dark fantasy style. For example, this is Adventure Time as an 80s dark fantasy show, or here's the Avengers in this style. Hulk actually looks badass. <laughs> I think they should make a full-fledged movie off of this. Captain America is going to siege a castle, and Ultron looks like he's wearing berserk armor. These were first seen on Imager in late November of 2022, but didn't see prominence until that Avengers video got posted on January 2nd, 2023. Some of my personal favorite videos are the SpongeBob and the Super Smash Brothers ones. The music they play over this is so nostalgic sounding, too. The awful Furby-ass Jigglypuff staring into the deeper recesses of my mind whilst Dark Synthwave plays in the background. Falco looks like a Mega Man boss. Luigi looks like he's about to show someone his one-up mushroom in an adult film. The Ice Climbers look like they're starring in the worst straight-to-TV film you've ever seen. Why is Mr. Game & Watch an eldritch horror? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the other fun iteration of this trend. The AI-generated 80s sitcom. These are actually freaking sweet, with people throwing Family Guy into an 80s sitcom intro via the powers of half-baked AI, incapable of generating human hands. This trend also started in January 2023 with this beautiful family Family Guy video being posted on January 16th. I actually want this to be a real show. I don't watch Family Guy because I'm not insane, but if this got made, I would. Honestly, I could see Family Guy literally doing this for a cutaway gag soon. Just you wait. Some of these images are very funny. Stewie sitting next to a literal Labrador. Why is Cleveland so hot? Peter Griffin walking through the door exclaiming like he's in a modern day YouTube thumbnail is not something I wanted to have in the back of my head while I'm sleeping tonight. There are some other good ones in this category too, like Futurama or this Breaking Bad version. These look a little more realistic since they can just pull from actual human images of Walter White. Can you imagine scenes of Walter cooking meth with a laugh track? That'd be so good. I don't like how the faces are all eerily similar, but just a bit off. Delete this. Dragon Ball Z as a 90s live action sitcom is great too. This is like when they'd try to make video game movies in the 80s or 90s. The Mario movie in the 90s literally looked like this. Krillin is fueling my nightmares. The extra eye on TN, I can't. This is actually a cool design for Krillin though. I hate that I like something AI has created. We need to go back. Humans only. This voice recording is going to get me killed by an AI in 2050. However fun these are though, AI isn't perfect. There's been a recent discourse in reference to saucier AI. AI generated content, which you may have seen recently. User Heart Irium put out this tweet with the caption, it is so over. At first glance, this is pretty dang good work, but the more you look at it, the more you start to see the flaws of AI. Like the middle girl's unaligned teeth or the girl on the right's horrifying hand. For some reason, these bots just can't generate proper hands. And honestly, I get it. As an F-tier artist myself, I understand how hard it is to draw a good hand. Additionally, this woman has hands coming out the back of her head. What is going on here? I think we're a little ways away from this having any real effect on the adult film industry, but it's getting there, I guess. Yes, if you told me I could just generate images of hot anime babes back when I was 12, I would have lost my shit. We'll see what the future holds for us, but let's just hope it isn't being held by an AI hand.